Now on Friday Night Lights, it's the annual battle between Antelope and San Pasquale Valley for the Telegraph Pass Cup. Plus, two Thursday night showdowns kick off week eight. The Dogs in Sparty Nation and Tigers and Vikings clashing for the IV Classic. And we are on record watch alert tonight. How you Catholic would fare on the road with their gunslinger. Just three touchdowns from history. We're running down the sidelines. Friday Night Light starts right now. I'm Jerry Marquez, outside linebacker for Yuma Catholic High School, and you're watching Friday Night Lights. The Telegraph Pass Cup on the line. Welcome in, everybody, to Week 8 of Friday Night Lights. I'm Scott Gross. And I'm Cole Johnson. It's one of those rivalries by close proximity, just a 32-mile trip from Welton, Arizona, across the state border to Winter Haven, California. Another meeting between the San Pasquale Warriors and the Antelope Rams, with each looking to get their hands on the cup. That's right. Each program won their season opener, but since... The two sides have lost a combined nine straight games. So here we go to Winter Haven for our marquee matchup of the week. Antelope and San Pasquale Valley looking for win number two on the season. Here we go. Rams looking to use their horns on the road to take out the Fighting Warrior Squad. Each team with a chance to claim bragging rights and bring home the Telegraph Pass Cup, which has belonged to Antelope in the last six meetings. Antelope would score first. The ball again now. High snap forces. Abraham Moreno to flood the pocket and improvise, and he does the improvising thing pretty well. Wins the race to the pylon for the 15-yard score. Two-point conversion would make it a 14-0 game. San Pasquale now with it. The big man quarterback, Ethan Jakovich, caught in the muddle, but he does a little shades of Tim Tebow jump throw to the big fella. We don't have his name on the roster, but he stumbles for a chunk of yards to keep it moving, but the drive, drive would stall again. But they would get it back here. Uh-oh, the ball is loose. Cesar Alvarez jumps on top of it. Maybe a much-needed momentum shift, but on the very next play, Play. Jakovic is going to throw into traffic and it's picked off. Caleb Martin and Martin looks like he'll go the distance for a house call, but Jakovic with a hustle and the shoestring tackle just outside the 10. Rams would score two plays later to make it 22 nothing. Now in the second quarter, after another Warriors three and out, Moreno throw to the air this time, rolling out and finding Valentin Cazares for a 14-yard pitch and catch. 30 nothing Rams with another successful two-point conversion. And for the cherry on top, Jakovic looking for Jose Gutierrez, but jumping in front of it, Andrew Aravalo for the pick six to make it 36 nothing before the half. The Rams roll 49 nothing and maintain control of the Telegraph Pass Cup, winning their seventh straight, dating back to 2004. It's a night of twos. You just saw Antelope notch their second win of the season. And Gila Rage also with two wins on the season, winning the first two to start the season, but they've dropped their last two. And tonight they looked for win number three against the Demons of Greenway. And Friday Night Lights, Vanessa Gangoro was there and now joins us in studio. Vanessa. Yeah, guys, Gila Ridge had a slow start tonight, but did they pick up the pace? Let's head over to Veterans Memorial Stadium where the Greenway Demons battle the Gila Ridge Hawks. In the beginning of the first quarter, 0-0 in the Demons' third and seven, QB Tyler McNally is going in for the long pass. But Hawks Michael Galaz intercepts and it's going to be a Gila Ridge ball on the 33. Still no score with five minutes left in the first. Demons first and 17. McNally once again goes with a long ball to wide receiver Matthew Johansson and it's caught. He's on his way. He's at a juke. Hawks braid in favor and down the sideline he goes but gets brought down by Jaden Yancey on the Hawks 13. Now third and 10 for Greenway. McNally looking. Throws and Mikey Galaz says, Get that out of here. But the Demons go to score on the next drive, putting them ahead 7 0. Jumping to top of second quarter, Demons third and goal. McNally hands it off to Carlos Toscano, who runs it in for the touchdown. Extra point is blocked, so score now 13 0. Greenway with seven and a half on the clock in the second. Hawks first and 10. Richard Bean darts it to favor, but deflected into the hands of Galaz, who runs it in for the touchdown. He's just on a roll tonight. Extra point is good now 13 7. Third quarter with about nine minutes left on the clock. Hawks second and goal. Bean lobs it to Cole Lancaster and says, uh-uh, this is mine for the touchdown. Extra point and gives the Hawks a 14-13 lead. But unfortunately, they lose that lead and Greenway goes on to win their first game 27-14. Thank you, Vanessa. Also like uh, Vanessa with uh, Mikey Ganaz and the, uh, the kicking yeah. promo. We still have a whole lot of yards to cover, starting with the Red Hot Brawley Wildcats and the Southwest Eagles coming off their first win. Plus, two more giant Imperial Valley League games taking the stage on Thursday night. Stay tuned.
The Internet of Things is evolving, creating the Internet of You. And Spectrum, America's leading Internet and mobile provider, is bringing you seamless connectivity across all your devices. Introducing Spectrum One. Spectrum Internet with speeds of 300 megabits, advanced Wi-Fi, and Spectrum Mobile Unlimited, all for just $49.99 a month. Call 833-673-4999. Spectrum Internet delivers speeds up to a gig with over 99.9% network reliability. Advanced Wi-Fi provides enhanced security and privacy that automatically blocks threats to protect all of your devices. And Spectrum Spectrum Mobile gives you unlimited talk, text, and data with nationwide 5G and the most reliable service coast to coast. Switch now. Call 833-673-4999. At Spectrum, it's not just about connecting things. It's about connecting you. Get it all with Spectrum One, Spectrum Internet, Advanced Wi-Fi, and one line of Spectrum Mobile Unlimited for $49.99 a month. Call 833-673-4999 or visit a Spectrum store today. Last week, Brandon met a girl on a dating app. One day after work, he finally found the courage to ask her out. No answer. He started to panic. Was he being too pushy? Maybe it was too... Hey, sorry I didn't respond. I was driving. I would love to go on a date. How does tonight sound? Brandon tried to play it cool, but inside he knew. A girl so smart, so responsible. She must be a keeper. There are 16 million children struggling with hunger in America. That's one in five daughters, sons, neighbors, and classmates who don't know where their next meal is coming from. Yet billions of pounds of good food go to waste every year. It's time we do something about it. Feeding America is a nationwide network of food banks that helps provide meals to millions of kids and families in need. Visit feedingamerica.org to help them feed even more. Together, we can solve hunger. Together, we're Feeding America. News 11 and 13 on your side are looking to hire an account executive to join our sales team to sell in both Arizona and California. You'll help local businesses grow their success, utilizing top local syndicated and fine programs such as NFL Football, Wheel of Fortune, Jeopardy, The Voice, and more. This is an excellent opportunity for those eager to excel in a sales career. Imagicom provides solid compensation packages and outstanding benefits. If you want an exciting opportunity with unlimited room to grow, apply and send your detailed cover letter and resume to our local sales manager. This is Ethan Gutierrez, quarterback of your Barley Wildcats. And you're watching Friday Night Lights. Welcome back to Friday Night Lights. I'm Scott Gross alongside Cole Johnson. The Southwest and Brawley, two programs on very different levels. Yeah, despite the Southwest Eagles getting their first win of the year last week at COFA, John Haynes' squad has had a hard time taking flight. Meanwhile, John Sells Brawley Wellcats opened IVL play with a 4-2 and record, and they've won three in a row. Last week, a 34-14 win at Gila Ridge with sophomore Matt Gutierrez, no relation to Ethan, making his first varsity start at quarterback. With more on this IVL match, we bring in Friday Night Lights very own Luis Lopez, who is at tonight's game. Hello, Luis. Hey, guys. And yeah, as you mentioned last week, Brawley head coach John Self sticking Matt Gutierrez under center. This week, though, the Gutierrez he's been rolling with much longer back under center as Ethan made his return for the Wildcats. Let's head out to Warren Field now. The Brawley Wildcat getting in on some fun along with a student section for Pink Night in Brawley as they get hyped for their team to take on the Southwest Eagles. Starting in the first quarter, first drive for the Wildcats, Ethan Gutierrez back under center for Brawley on the Eagle 25. He fires it out to junior tight end Robert Platt, who earned some yards after the catch, taking this down to the four-yard line. Next play on first and goal, Gutierrez will sit in the pocket, and after looking at his options, he finds senior Damian Arbaca. He hauls it in. This is a four-yard touchdown pass for Gutierrez. Wildcats up 7-0 following the extra point. So now the Eagles back with it on first down. Logan Younger is taking the snap, rolls out to his right, can't find an open man, buys himself some time, dumps it off to Matai Cervantes, picks up a few yards, not enough for the first though. Wildcats take over after a failed punt. They drive down for a goal to go where they hand it off to the senior fullback Tanner Carranza. Wildcats extend their lead, make it 14-0 after the extra point. And in the end, it would be Gutierrez and the Wildcats showing no mercy, pouncing on the Eagles as they win this one 61 to 12. To Shimamoto Simpson Stadium we go from last night. Imperial Tigers looking to keep their winning ways 
while the Holtville Vikings are looking to get back to over 500 on the season. Beginning in the first quarter, Tigers up 3-0. Vikes going for it on fourth and one from their own 29. They hand it to senior back Austin Marini, who breaks the tackle and gets free towards the sideline. Big run for Marini. It's a 20-yard game for Holtville. A couple plays later, though, third down for the Vikings. They mishandled the snap. Imperials Pablo Moreno says thank you very much, takes this to the house for a 50-yard scoop and score to extend the Tigers' lead to 10. Holtville would punt on the following drive. Tigers going for it here on fourth and five. From the Viking 34, Tiger quarterback Gavin Robles decides to roll out of the pocket, sees a man downfield. It's the junior wideout, Jared Nixon, who comes down with it right at the one-yard line. And just a few plays later, Tigers will hand this off to Seth Shaw, who bulldozes his way into the end zone for the score. Imperial goes up 17-0 after the extra point, and the Tigers would end up winning big in this one, 41-7. They get to 6-1 and one on the year. Holtville, meanwhile, falls to under 500 for the first time this season. To Cal Jones Field last night with Clexico's Fernando Solano prepping his Bulldogs for the Spartans of Central bringing the horse, the band, and all the fields for the hometown crowd. After both teams exchange turnovers, Central strikes first. Six minutes left in the first, Damian Rodriguez finds Charlie Sullivan on the wheel route. No one around. They connect on the 44-yard score. Extra point good. Sparties are up by score 7 nothing. Bulldogs next possession under two minutes left in the opening quarter. On second long, junior Julian Silva rolls out right, slings to junior Marco Esker. Esker with the tough run for the first down. Calexico drives stalls. They force a punt and a high snap off the fingers of Luis Martinez. Central's Myler Rodriguez. Milas Rodriguez on the recovery for the Bulldogs. Make that for the Spartans on the Bulldog 40. That sends up the second and seven Bulldogs. Rodriguez finds junior Arturo Estrada for the score. Extra point good. Central up 14-0. Colexo trying to answer. Fourth and 10 from the Spartan 31. Silva tosses right to Leo Canchola. Watch Skyler Cook. A heat-seeking missile. Central offense back to work. Rodri Rodriguez finds Sergio Garcia. Makes a great catch down to the Bulldog 14. Central goes on to win handily at home 34-14. The Spartans are now 4-3 overall, but 2-0 in IBL play after a 5-0 start. Calexico has dropped two in a row. Our highlights are in the victory formation, but we still have plenty more to share. You sure do. That includes our out-of-town scoreboard helmet props and an eye on a record-breaking night for one of our local athletes. That's right. Plus, don't look now, but could the streak be over for the Kofa Kings? Got to stick around for this. The Kofa Kings, yeah, they did something they haven't done since 2017. We'll be right back. I've been writing since I was 13 years old. It's always been my thing, even helping other students with their papers and essays, things like that. And so it's just always been a part of me, something that I love to do. And to be able to deliver the news is a whole different level of writing for me. I always wanted to start in Yuma. I've always heard amazing things about Yuma as far as the news market, and that to me is very remarkable. Catch our Let Yusuf, weeknights first at four, only on 13 on your side. Richard, big senior year for you. A couple records in reach, yards, touchdowns. How much more do you need? Need about 2,200 yards and about 16 touchdowns. You know, I've got some records as well. I created a player on Madden and broke all the records passing. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, mind if we toss it around a little bit? What? What? I'm open. I scored a touchdown in college once. Take an adventure with the Arizona Lottery. Explore wild and wonderful state parks all across Arizona. Whether you're here or there, the more you adventure, the more you could win. With $1 million in cash and travel prizes, start your Arizona adventure today at azadventure.com. Hi, Mike Morris here from El Centro Motors. Well, the lot is starting to fill up. Yes, it's slow, but it is filling up. We got great deals. We got an interest rates as low as 2.8% for 84 months on approved credit. We got a great inventory coming. We got them here now. You need to come down and see us. And remember, if you don't come see me first, I can't save you any money, and it's just that easy. For the rest of the world, we're a very unique 
uh, gem and they really enjoy coming down here to film. So Imperial Valley. They had begun filming in Korea the beginning of the shoot and so they ended it in El Centro. Home to a budding film industry. We premiered at the Chinese Theater in Hollywood. From where American Sniper was filmed in El Centro. Why the industry continues to increase projects in our backyard. Local films. This is Richard Stallworth, quarterback of the UMA Catholic Shamrocks. You're watching Friday Night Lights. Welcome back, everyone. You saw Richard Stallworth there. He came into tonight's road game against the Verado Vipers just two touchdowns away from tying the Arizona State all-time passing touchdown record. Yeah, he broke the school record last week, but now three away from calling it his very own and state. Also, the Yuma Criminals haven't won more than three games in a season in over a decade. Did that change tonight? Let's take a look at the out-of-town scoreboard. So look at this. The Criminals, for the first time in over a decade, have four wins in the year. They win it 20-12 to on the road to Arizona Lutheran. And for the Yuma Catholic Shamrocks, though, not how they planned the night to go as they lose this one 28-18. And Richard Stallworth doesn't come up with just one touchdown pass. He has two, one more to tie, two to, to go to win. Which we're happy with that. We hope that he breaks it next week when he's at home. Yeah, we hate to say that to you, Richard, Ben, and to you <laughs> Shamrocks who want to celebrate, but at least the celebration could happen next week at Ricky Gwynn Stadium. As for the other games now, Cibola, they win this one. 30, uh, they lose 16, 32 to 16 on the am road. I see, and am I seeing something right on that? I, I think you are. I think you are, Scott. Last oh, I man. checked on this, it was 29-6. Yes. Kofa was down in the third quarter. Yeah, absolutely. Look at that, guys. 32-29. That is the correct score. We have to save the best for last. October 20th, 2017. That was the last time Kofa won a football game. And tonight, that has all changed. They wow. roar back in the fourth yep. quarter, and the losing streak ends at 39. Congratulations, yes. Pablo Cota, the yep. new head coach of the Kings. Congratulations to Kofa High School and all the players. They, they work so hard, yep. and what a way to get their first win since 2017. Shock in the world. What a comeback. I mean, not only they win the game, but they come back from down uh, 23. They score 26 unanswered points in the second half. Awesome stuff there. Turn the page Before now to our helmet props. Uh, my choice is the Central Spartans and quarterback Damian Rodriguez carved up the Calexico Bulldogs on Thursday night. 349 yards and five touchdowns. All five touchdowns to five different receivers. Well done, Damian. Spreading the wealth. And again, Central improves to 4-3 and three in the season and 2-0 and oh in IBL play. Yeah, and I'm going to go with the Rams of Antelope tonight's win. The commanding win to claim their seventh straight Telegraph Pass Cup over San Pasquale. The defense stepping up with a shutout and forcing several turnovers. So props to you, Antelope. Luis. Guys, we had to dust. We had to blow some dust <laughs> off of this helmet prop. You guessed it. The Kofa Kings, their first win since 2017, and you just have to give so much credit to them. They did so with Pablo Cota taking over during the season, not even during the offseason, stepping in and clearly guiding this program in the right direction. So big congrats to Copa High tonight. Vanessa, who do you got? Well, gentlemen, my helmet prop is going to the Imperial Tigers for a big win against the Hopeville Vikings, making their record 6-1, and one, already tying their win total from last season and still have a lot more games to go, but great season so far for the Tigers. That'll lead us now into today's best. Yes, featuring some of our top plays from week eight across the desert southwest. Mm -hmm. A big thank you to the viewers, you the viewers, and also to the fantastic crew that helped put the show together. A special tip of the cap to Jonathan Bosco, who does all of our graphics. Also a nod to our general manager, Dave Miller, our sales staff and news director, Ernesto Romero. A huge shout out to our director that you currently see, Omar Velasquez and Eric Sawyer, who helps with our promos. And a big thank you as well to downtown Bobby Brown for calling in scores. A big thank you to Mercedes Martinez, Melissa Zaremba, and Vince Ibarra. Thank you so much for watching. Week 9 is next Friday night.